Okay, so um, game crashed. We restarted. I'd like to make it just so that I can hide like an accident. Just like an accident. I will offer something about killing you and making it look like an accident. I have a plan. They had guns. Malcolm Corey dying. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. Oh. Man, this is gruesome. My editor better print these in color. Now I have to get you some help, I suppose. Ah, uh, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. What are you? I'm a mechanic. And apparently a pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. My name's Ben. Why did you hit me over the head, Maureen? You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. I need a little help getting it okay, finished, though. Okay, um, so just taking a minute here to explain uh, what happened and why it kind of has to go on to the second video so quickly. Um, Basically, after the, the bike crashed, the game crashed, um, I reloaded it uh, and it was a little bit further back, we were back at the bar, but it wasn't too far. We just had to get on the bike and beat up the other biker and then uh, it went quite smoothly after that. Um, it does mean that I have to remember to save more often. Uh, this is old school game. It doesn't really auto save that often. It does auto save, but I think only when you hit achievements. So I'm going to make sure um, that I save it a bit more often in case that happens again. Um, but we will we'll continue. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just switch um, back to the old rendering. Uh, we've got a new scene and we can see what the, the writing used to look like. Gosh. So as you can see it was a <laughs> lot messier back when it was a PC game. Um, everything's still there but it's just so much cleaner now. Um, that's so pretty. I keep saying that, but I do just love how they've um, played out the cartoon side of it. It's it's really nice. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center? Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hardtail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined, but... He took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. It irritates me that she says shined. It should be shone, I'm sure. Um, no doubt people will disagree with me on that. And I'm sure she can say shined if she liked. Um, just irks me slightly. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave. Which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Okay, uh, so let's, let's uh, find out what we can. I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? I was playing um, one of the older Fallout games recently and I'm getting really strong vibes from that um, in this scene. 
uh, where you're talking to the girl about the book she's writing about how to survive um, in in the border uh, not borderland sorry fallout um, about how to survive out there and it just I don't know it's got a real strong vibe of that going on right now my gang's in trouble bullcats how'd you know that they gamble them on the back of your jacket they're headed for an ambush so I gotta catch them we better get this bad boy back on the road then huh I don't have any money to pay you with Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Where am I going to find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new new. Just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Just interestingly, um, mechanics, uh kind of a running theme female mechanics that I I enjoy in games and TV shows um one of the cosplays that's kind of on my list to do when I can find a decent boiler suit um is Kaylee from Firefly uh who is my favorite character from that I think she's great um and this is just you know maybe where I got that uh love of female mechanics from well I'll let you get back to work let me know if you need any aspirin or anything I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. I'm not putting my lips on that. Love this bike, but not that much. Yeah, so this is a bit that I um I remember quite well, so there'll be things that I'll do just instinctively. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. When he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Wish this gas can was full. Well, we can do something about that. Mm -hmm. This hole smells like gas. I know we did this. I just want to see if it says anything different. I hate seeing her like this. Nah. Why? It's really my best side. Right, off we go. Let's see what we can find. Oh, good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. The ambush? Really? Where? Hmm. Sorry, I was taking a drink. I may have accidentally hit the button twice and you didn't get to hear him ask the question. We'll just go with her being psychic. Somewhere between here and Corville. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. It's probably a lot to tell a reporter. Now that I think about it, should probably have kept some of that to myself. Um, I, I... Yeah? This is hard for me. I, I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. Oh, she's delightful and helpful, isn't she? Pretty small to be carrying me around. I rolled you. 
Find us a rain yet? No. Well, considering she's not looking, that's not surprising. I love the way he dutifully walks over when you send him somewhere. It's empty. I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox. He has respect. Ooh. Sneaky. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. Oh, I remember this so many times looking around this and picking something to go to and then having to go somewhere else and pick something else up and go to a different place. It's just one thing after another. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's check some things out, shall we? See what's going on. See if I'm any better at it now that I've uh, <laughs> I've played a few more things, and maybe have a bit more of an idea of what I'm doing. I am old school gaming. I will click on everything. Smells like burning metal down there. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very sub-code wiring. Hmm. Interesting to know. Who would steal that? Apparently this guy has a dog. Good to know. Always be well when they have a dog. It's even sadder looking inside. <laughs> Probably all that's holding this dump up. <laughs> Very effective. Locked, but flimsy looking. Good to know. Always his first thought. Can I kick this door down? Ooh, somebody's going to answer this door. Who's out there? Hey! I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. I'm a friend of Moe's. I need... Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. So get off my back already. What do you want? I got a lock, but flimsy looking. Hey, I hear you already. Hey, you lousy no Okay, well, we're going to see if we can get him back up here and solve this the same way uh, we solved the problem with the bartender. Not for a reason, or you just not get away from my door. This is important. Not to me, you crazy mm. looking hood. Now, bait it. You stick around long enough, and maybe they'll pick you up with a trash. Well, that was a, a good way of doing it. We don't even know if he stole her welding torch. It could be his. We don't know it's hers. But, um,. Yeah, I got a job to do. I got a gang to save. This view defines true beauty. And this is, of course, the reason for this response. I'm not putting my lips on that. Yeah, no, I wouldn't either. I think he's had enough. Okay, let's see what uh, what's his name? Todd. Let's see what Todd has that we might want. Looks like a cabinet to me. Oh, he's so deadpan. Ah, oh, we'll take a lockpick. 
Let's see if there's anything else. It's empty. Okay. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. Wouldn't look good on my bike. I pictured him having a much larger fridge. Let's see what's inside. It's either dog food or this guy's dinner. Wow. Anything you can take. With these games, you know, anything you can take. Nothing else in there Always but stains. Do. Uh, what I'd like to be able to do is, uh, oh, go downstairs. Shows uh, that was easier than I thought. Oh, I want the little dog. The little tin dog. So cute. I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. Can we take it? I don't collect art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. Aww, that's a shame. Ouch. <laughs> don't get too close to the bird. I don't collect bird. art, and I also don't collect whatever that is. I nominate that as least offensive of show. <laughs> He does not appreciate metalwork, apparently. That would make a good mailbox post in hell. <laughs> I'd rather just get out of here. He's really down on Todd's art. I hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. Not a bad version, really. Can't get up there. Okay, that is everything, so let's make our next stop. The welding torch. Better hustle this back to Mo. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. Yeah, so some of it's fairly easy to uh to get and to remember what you're doing with. Um, let's head back out and see if we can't get the rest of it. I seem to remember getting as far as something to do with a jump. Uh, and I needed the parts to build a ramp to jump over a canyon. Um, I think that's where I used to get to, so we'll see. We'll see how we go. Let's, um, let's, let's visit the tower next. Yeah, it's a case of just pick up everything you can because eventually you're going to need something. Um, like picking up the lockpick. There's clearly there's a padlock on here that it'll probably be useful on. Just like with any point and click game, if you can pick it up, do. I bet that thing's full of gas. If only I could get in there. If only we had already picked up something that could help with that. Let's read the signs. The top of this fence is electrified. Okay, well we won't go over the fence. Tough looking padlock. We haven't um cycled through our inventory, so here you go, I can I can cycle it through, I can move it around, so I can obviously place it where I think it's needed. The yellow line appears around it when it's uh, something you can interact with. I don't think interacting with a can um is gonna be very helpful here. Uh, we can cancel that, and there's a way, but I'm trying to remember. Oh, there you go. Hold that, you can see all the things you can interact with, which is handy. And I will be using that a lot more. Um, and something, oh, not that one. I'm sure one of the buttons opens your inventory, and it's like a big skull with its mouth open, and everything you have is, there you go displayed in the skull. So let's let's do it this way. Let's uh well let's just quickly show you the rendering difference. Not too much different. But uh yeah, nice and clear. 
Let's uh, let's use the the lock pick, shall we? Let's see if we can't open this. There we go. Let's head in. Okay, so there's only one way to go. Ooh. Or is there? He's just disappeared. <laughs> and we don't seem to be able to click on that. Uh, I wonder if this is to do with staying in the dark. Let's inspect the ladder first, see if we can come up with a way to use it. Nope, doesn't seem to be worried about anything. Let's climb. Oh. Alarms, let's go hide. It'd be great if he could hustle a little bit at this point. And maybe, um, run. That'd be good. I do remember that you can get, like, negative consequences for being caught there. Watch him high tail out there. Aww. Okay, so that's not the way to go. I don't walk. Right, okay. So we can't go too far out of here. I don't think there's anything else in our inventory that would uh, would help with an alarm system like that. And uh, I don't I don't remember that this is the way um, to do this, at least it wasn't before. I'm going to give it one more go because I want to see if I can get back there and hide quickly enough um, if something happens. So let's give it a try. Plus will bend back over there. It takes his time. There we go might be enough to fool them. Potentially. Remain where are you? Hey, where is he? I told you I nailed him last time. But who set off the alarm for him? Maybe someone's just fooling with us. Ah, oh, it's him. It's that guy you keep missing. Well, if you could hold this thing still while I'm shooting, I'm going down for a closer look. Ooh. Yeah, that's gotta be helpful. Bring him down. I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Nah, we would have seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Ah. Let's go up and get him. Ah, this is more like what I remember. Yeah, this isn't me being really quick on my feet. This is about me remembering now because as far as I remember, you can totally steal um, gas from their hover sled. Or you can damage it or something. I don't trust anything without wheels. I don't touch anything without wheels. <laughs> he has very clear uh, choices on these things. Here we go. We can, uh... A hose won't help here. Oh, okay. I don't touch anything without wheels. Just scan there a second, because I think that's what I'm looking for. Gas cap, there we go. Yeah, I remember that we just steal the gas uh, from them rather oh, than anything else. Won't help here. Oh, clicked it on the wrong thing. Oh, I think we have to get the cat out first. Let's try that. Uh, I don't know how many of you have siphoned gas in your lives. I never have, but I know I knew all about it from this. So before I ever saw it on TV or heard anything about it, this was my introduction to siphoning gas off. Hey, who's that down there in the yard? It's him. Get him. Run away. 
<laughs> Forgot to put the lid on. There'll be no we'll gas when we get back, but it's fine. Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No, let's call on reinforcements. This time you get to see him do his little jog. Always oh, hiding. <clears throat> and they've gone to call in reinforcements. Oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. Okay, not bad. We've got uh, two out of the three items. Um, we're going to leave it there for now and I will... Uh, well, I'm going to carry on, but we're going to have a bit of a break uh, to see uh, where we're going to get the forks from coming up afterwards. <laughs>